Hey everyone and welcome back to The Surge. On this video we're doing episode 2 of The Good, The Bad, and The Augmented. Frontier Riders Episode 2 La Muerte has taken refuge at the arena. Warren's not having any of it. Locations, Frontier Riches, Frontier Abyss, Wanted, La Muerte. For completing this episode, we'll get the Pl Plasmic Omni Boost Version 1. It increases maximum energy, health, and stamina based on core power. As for modifiers, we're going to go with Lactose Tolerant. After losing health, recollect it as cheesy treats. No injections available. Playing cat and mouse games again, huh? And that'll give us the golden infantry rifle. A massive highlight from Rishbot's rogue collection. It's time to administer the golden shot. Arm yourself with this vintage rifle and bring a bit of much needed style back to the battlefield. But always remember, take care or it'll be today gold, tomorrow dust. Our second modifier is gonna be Chronomaster. Performing moves makes time move faster than normal and increases the damage you deal. If you do nothing or get hit, it'll slow down again. Not wasting any time, huh? That'll give us the El Capitan headgear. A spicy highlight from Rishbotter's Rogue Collection. The classic look for angry gringos all around the west. Unleash your inner machismo and gain a sense of easygoing confidence all in one fell swoop. Are you a cool enough hombre to pull this look off? Okay, next up is Danger Close. Dying enemies drop power cores, which gives you the shades of black headgear. A blindingly cool highlight from Rishbotter's Rogue Collection. You can't throw shade until you've worn some. Real cowboys never travel without a pair of sunglasses to beat the desert sun and impress the dames with their amazing insight. And finally, we're gonna use Arms Race. Auto equip the weapon of the last killed enemy. Variety is the spice of death. And that'll give us the Golden Twin Blades. A precious highlight from Rishbotter's Rogue Collection. Wield these blades to prove your worth on the battlefield and show your doubters that you're twice the warrior they take you for. What are you waiting for, gringo? Be a class act and claim your foe's family jewels with two mighty weapons made of solid gold. Alright, and with these modifiers, we're gonna get frontier gear drop rates of very high. Version 2 gear, high. Tech scrap gain of 3.23 times and components 1.67 times. Barrel chamber assembly initiated. A cave-in had trapped Warren deep down in the gold mine's secret corridor. He sighed wearily and decided to escape his stony prison the only way he knew how. By smashing in some faces! Sounds good to me. Alright, so to get the door open ahead, we need to stand on this platform, but enemies are gonna come and make that difficult. Like him. Oh, and I just straight up killed him, and he went down, so I get his weapon. And nice, got his arm and his weapon. All right, let's go, oh, let's go for this guy, actually. We're gonna go for his body. And I think I got it. Oh, that was brutal. All right, let's see. Let's go for his arm, although it probably won't do anything. Fight, you oh, crap. All right, I took damage, so there's cheese. I can pick that up. Let's go for his head. Oh, brutal. Oh, that was close. Uh, let's see, I think I have his weapon. But 
It looks slightly different than the one I got before. So let's take it. Oh, that's so awesome. This door is still not open. What the heck? Oh, that enemy got stuck over there. Well, that'll make it easier. Oh, don't get blown up. All right, I'm moving around just to speed up time. What the heck is taking this so long? Once again, Warren did what he does best. He ran. I did not run. What are you talking about? All right, I picked up the Grim Ravager. New weapon. I got the arm gear for the Angel of Death. Got the head gear. Uh, this guy could get the legs. Easy. Why not? Partner. Easy. And I got the body gear schematic right there. Let me um also get my concussive module ready. Alright, so we will go for this guy's leg. Watch out for his friend on the side. Oh, dang it. Didn't get the leg. Well, I'll cut, but I doubt it'll work. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that instead. Oh, well. Alright, let's pick that up. That. And look at that, heavy duty weapon proficiency, level seven. All right, we're gonna drop down here. Oh, almost too far. Got the kinesthetic amplifier version one, and we're gonna have to hold our ground here, and this is not exactly easy. Gonna have two single rig guys coming in, and they are nasty. You wanna avoid their lunge attack at all costs. We're just gonna go for his head, get him out of here. Now that we have a little bit of time, we'll go for his leg. See if we can get it. Oh. One of these days, kid. One of these days, you'll learn how to properly finish things. Alright. Oh, they're both gonna come at roughly the same time. That's no bueno. Oh, get out of there! Oh, Jehoshaphat, you're a psycho! Interesting choreography, champ. Right, we've got this guy. We'll just go for his head. I'm a little worried about the next one coming. Yeah, actually, let's go for him. Oh! Sensor. Going for his leg. Got it. All right, come on, door. Open up. All right, once again, they're both coming at roughly the same time. Oh, whoa, almost jumped right in. Oh, get away. Your farming? Oh, whoa. These doors are being stubborn. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? And we got the leg gear schematic. Very nice. All right, so we got the full set of the version one gear. Oh, and I almost forgot something very important, the lucky coin. on the brink of destruction. People wanted a true hero with glistening teeth, a roguish smile, and pecks to die for. Their wait was almost over. Are you saying I don't have pecks to die for? Brink of destruction. Wait, what the heck? People wanted a true right, hero with glistening teeth. A roguish smile and pecks to die for. Their weight is almost gone. Ow! Oh, 
I'll take that cheese, thank you very much. Alright, let's go through here. And we're gonna drop down. And we're gonna go immediately to this. Alright, and now we gotta compete. Oh good! Didn't actually attack. Alright, watch out for the cart. And we're gonna go for this. Got it. And uh, this guy, I guess we can take his arm. Oh, Alright, now here we're gonna go for this guy over here. Might take a hit for it, but that's fine. Oh, that's blowing up. Ooh. Watch out. Oh, taking hits. That's all right. We drop tree cheese and we can actually just pick it right back up. Crap. I did not want to go down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Craziness is happening. Crap. I don't know if I can get out of this situation. There's a uh, poison gas down here. I've never actually experienced this before because I've never fell down. I wonder if I can get back. Anyways, lucky coin. Yeah, all right, well. It looks like I got no way to get back up, so we're just going through. Alright, well, not ideal. I might have missed an implant. We can always run this episode again. Um, none of the implants in these early episodes are going to be all that important, so... Not too worried about it. The important thing is that I picked up that lucky coin. So I got all three lucky coins. Which means we're going to get way more tech scrap than I believe other rewards, but maybe not. Tech scrap at least. Alright, now let's see what gear he's wearing, because I want to cut something to uh, get a reward. Oh, and what's up with all these guys? Every time you fight the boss, there's a different variation, and I've never seen this one before. Am I gonna have to fight these guys? Uh, yep, looks like it. That sucks. Oh! Oh, they might just be in the way. Doesn't look like I can actually attack them. I think they're just obstacles. Alright, anyways. Let's go for his body. Well, it gave me a single rig uh, from my last kill, and that's pretty good because I have a decent amount of proficiency with it. 17. A lot more than decent. Pick up this cheese. Send him flying. And cut him up. Another bandit leader down. Orange felt like a real go-getter today. But somehow, he knew the worst was yet to come. As usual. Alright. And we got the Tier 2 Grim Fashion Body Gear Schematic. And here we get all the good ones. Not sure if all this stuff's gonna pop up again. I'll just let it play now. That was it, though.
Easy there, partner. Easy. Episode two completed. And 1.4 million tech scrap. I told you it gives good tech scrap. And we got the Grim Ravager. It's basically gonna repeat everything I got previously. Lots of stuff for running these episodes, that's for sure. Especially if you're running lots of multi uh, multipliers. All right, so what did we get? Uh, I think it gives us the weapon straight up, but I could be wrong. Oh, nope, it gives it to us. Probably the same description. Yep, all right, so we've seen that description. There's the stats on, oh, look at that. It actually comes as a, uh, Rank 17, that's even better. Don't you have to craft them? I figured you have to upgrade them at least, but apparently not. It's got low impact, attack speed high, proficiency scaling is very high, energy gain plus 15%. Elemental damage 311, slash damage 119, thrust damage 119, crush damage zero. All right. What if it does the same with the other weapons or are those just schematics? I think you just get schematics on the other ones. Yeah, I'm not seeing the, the rest in peace. Okay. Uh, let's see, we got a new hat. The El Capitan. It's a uh, operator class, which I believe is the um, light class. So it has the normal stats there. Elemental defense 28, slash defense 18, crush defense 23, thrust defense 14. And we also got the shades of black headgear. Okay, um, I think everything else that I got is craft stuff. Yeah, I think so. All right, uh, let's see. I've got some components, so I might be able to do some upgrades. Let's just see if that's a possibility. My hat, not upgradable. My boots, I need two more of those Mark 17 uh, boot pieces. Can't upgrade that, can't upgrade that. All right, no upgrades for me. What about uh, my weapon though? I didn't check that. Oh wait, was that it? Uh, yeah, oh, no, nope. I still need uh, three more Mark 18 tungsten. All right, well, I definitely can get core power. Got a ton of tech scrap, so it's all going to core power. And I actually haven't experimented with that, uh, with that implant I just got. On paper, it sounds good. Let's see what it is in practice. It was that Omni Boost something? Um, wait. Huh? Where'd it go? Or was it? Oh, it's Plasmic Omni Boost. Uh, let's see, it'll give me 45 health, 30 stamina, and 15 energy. Hmm. It's a little tempting, because that's some actually pretty good stamina, I believe. Oh, no, actually, it's... I mean, it's decent. What about the energy gain? Those give 36. What did it give again? Uh, 15. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on this thing, but it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. All right, um, let's see. I am at 179 
core power. I'm using 171 of it though, so I still can't ditch my second ancillary core, but very soon. 1225 health. Yep, things are looking good. I'm gonna stick with what I've currently got. All right. Um, let's see. Do I want to progress to the bio lab yet? Nah, we'll just uh, we'll just wrap up the video right here, and we'll run over to the bio labs on the next one. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.